everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I am so glad to be here today. I was excited about today's video because of something I'm getting ready to show you in a minute. But before I start, I wanted to kind of go through what I'm wearing today because I don't know how this happened. I think it was a combination of Brooke and I going to Target again. And I think I watched um, maybe Tati's Drugstore Favorites. But anyway, somehow I ended up with like a lot of drugstore makeup that I wanted to try. So I decided today to just do like my whole face with drugstore makeup. So I wanted to tell you what I thought really quick on some of these things. And I got a kitty hair in my mouth. Okay, I'll just, I won't, I'll just start with whatever. Okay, so the first thing is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer, Forever Sunkissed, long, for long-lasting wear. I know we picked this up at Target that day we were there. Not impressed. Um, I used it today. It was hard for me to get enough bronzer off of it, so I would say maybe if you're light, but then I didn't feel like it was real smooth. I just didn't, it, I just wasn't that crazy about it. I love the color. I think it is like the perfect, amount of just warmth and everything. I really had high hopes. I really thought I was gonna like this, but I did not care for this. So, just tell you that. And here comes Chanel. <laughs> okay, the next thing, and I think this is what I was looking for that made me get that. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. And um, this one, this color, we couldn't decide between rose and this one. This one is always cheeky. And I would have to say this is pretty. This I really did like. I think that you would like it. It had a lot of pigmentation. I didn't have to struggle with it. And I think it's a really pretty, like brightening color. And I liked this a lot. So it's, it's kind of like that the whole time. It goes back and forth. Then um, I know this was from Tati. And I think I have actually tried this before. And I felt like I didn't give it a chance because a long time ago, I really never set my under eye concealer. Sometimes I didn't even wear it. You know how I go back and forth. Sometimes I don't put it on until the end and I do that kind of stuff. So I bought it again at Walgreens and it is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Press Powder in Creamy Natural. And what got me is when she said that she brings this with her and has her makeup artist use this at the end. So I was like, gosh, I have those products that I feel like are so good that I just want them no matter what. And um, so I got this and it's very similar. I left the other, the Charlotte Tilbury out here so we could compare the color. It's a very similar, I feel like it's very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury number one fair. Let's see, there it is on my fingertips. Let's. I just feel like it's very, very similar. I don't see much difference at all, to be honest with you. They both feel really silky. And I mean, if I had to say, of course I would pick the Charlotte Tilbury because I've used this so long and I just know, no, no, I like it. Today was the first time I've used this and I did set under my eyes with it. So I think it's worth trying. It, and once again, it's the Creamy Natural. Then the foundation that I have on is the Dream Urban Cover. And right now, before I forget, because the other day when I was editing my video, I was like, what is that? Like pounding in the background. I couldn't remember what it was. They are still building that house next door and I'm like immune to it. I don't even hear it. And they're doing like the siding right now and doing a bunch of stuff. And, and now the trash man's going by. So you'll hear those noises. Anyway, I got the Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup with Sunscreen. It actually has SPF 50, and I have that on today. And the color I got was 128 Warm Nude. First, I had picked up the, I think, Natural Beige or something like that, and one of the girls at Ulta was helping me decide, and we decided that just didn't, I don't know, it looked almost like gray. And so I picked this up and I do think the color is very good. Thing is, and did I bring that out here? I don't think I brought out the next thing I was gonna show you. Let me go get it. 
This is why you can hardly see the foundation because we also got the hydrating camo concealer from e.l.f. This is good. It's so good that, and the color we got, a lot of times I might air a little bit lighter because Brooke is like one shade lighter than me now. In the summer, we're about the same. And um, so I always think, you know, I want her to be able to use it too. So it's light peach, but it is so light and it is so good. It's so like pigmented that, let me show you. It's got the big, you know, like tart shape tape foot. And so I had put like three dots under each eye. Well, I ended up having to like put it all around here. Then I brought it all over here, up in here. So, you know, it, but look. Look how pretty. I mean, look how far it blends out and still stays like serious coverage. So that is a winner. And then the last thing we came across were these little e.l.f. palettes. And so when I saw this one, they're called Bite Size Eyeshadow, and this is called Pumpkin Pie. And for some reason, it just kind of reminded me of the Natasha Denona camel palette it's definitely more orangey more warm that's more of a saddle this is what i have on today so and i used matter of fact i only used two colors i just used those two colors and nothing else on my whole eye and i just you know to buff out the edges i didn't use any other color i actually just used a clean brush which I'm glad I remembered that because I also picked up this brush. I actually got two of them. It is the Morphe M504. And I needed, I really needed something like a MAC 224 or something. I wanted something that, I don't know, that was a little bit bigger, like a good blending brush that was a little bit bigger on the end, but still had enough stiffness that it wasn't gonna just go everywhere. And so I grabbed this and I really like it. That's what I put used today to put this on. So there we have it. That is my face of the day. Today I'm going to do the Lawless Beauty Nude Lipsticks. I ordered five of them. I was gonna order every single one of them, but I just thought, you know, it's just gonna be ridiculous because I am not gonna wear those dark brown colors. And if I ever want to, I've got so many that are so pretty that I like. So I ordered Wedding Day, Child, Fawn, Annie, and Platinum. And I thought we would just go like I do from lightest to darkest. And um, I did get, I picked this up just when I was looking and it ended up being something I think will be perfect for this. I didn't want to put on like a brown lip liner or a pink lip liner or really anything that's going to change these colors, but I do feel like to get the full effect, I need a little bit of a lip liner. So I picked this one up. Today, I'm going to line my lips with this before we start, and that way I'll at least have a little bit. And you'll see what I mean. It's just like the color of my lips. And it's called BFF, I think. Yeah, BFF. See how it's just literally like the color of my lips. And I had that um, that Freeze Co Beauty Gloss Night lip stuff on, but I did just take a Q-tip and got it off. Let's start with the lightest one, which is Platinum. And I have only looked at one of them because I opened one they're taped shut. It's a neat little concept where this pulls off, but evidently they probably were coming undone or something because it looks like, I don't know, maybe, oh, no, 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 that's factory. It goes like down there. Okay, I was thinking maybe they had to start taping them because it's not easy to get into them and I didn't want to like savage open it, but yeah, okay, it's meant to be this way. So you take it off like this. And what I was saying is I opened one and I thought, you know, I kind of like it when we experience this together. You know, when I look at something and try it on for the first time, to me, that is better. So this is platinum and yay, I'm excited. Okay, so this is definitely light, which doesn't really scare me because I know I can pretty much make anything work with the right lip liner. 
and you know her makeup is very clean no this no that and that is what she's known for and some of you have asked me for a clean makeup tutorial so i plan on doing that soon okay so let's go so it didn't it swatched very very light nude pink but i love it's not too cool it's really pretty it's not patchy hello did someone say your name <laughs> okay you know what time it is go ahead oh my gosh she is going to hang on the edge of the bench over here chanel she's sitting right here so it's very very light but it's not patchy it's not dry it's not it's got a good sheen to it it is very 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 pretty I mean even I know that it's not everybody's look but even looking in the viewfinder I like it because I love like, like a little bit of a darker edge so if you didn't gosh I'm gonna have to break down and take this let me take off the lip liner and everything just in case in case you'd rather it be all light I think honestly just the color of my lips are going to create a bit of a lip liner this is pretty this is for all of you that like myth and like the good old school nudes like when I first started YouTube and we were doing the really really light colors so that is so pretty I love it okay I'm gonna leave that swatch on my hand so that was platinum okay I think the next one the lightest one maybe would be Annie and so let's try this one I'm going to assume this is probably her favorite and it is I would say kind of a peachy nude instead of pink okay I'm gonna put it this side of the platinum so it definitely has a little bit more color it's a little bit brighter but still beautiful pinky peachy color okay I've got the Cetaphil wipes out here just I'm not gonna worry about lip liner this one is not quite as silky feeling as the other one it might be though because I had a little bit of um, residue left over from the lip treatment I do like they have a really good point that still is so pretty. I was scared this was gonna be unwearable. But it's not. I still think it's beautiful. Now it might be too light for a lot of you but I would always wear it with a lip liner. So let's just do this. See, that's perfect. You would like this if you like cream cup, you know, any of those like that. MAC cream cup, let me think of something else seems like there was some NARS colors that were kind of like this and to me it just gives me that I don't know that Naomi Campbell vibe where it's lighter in the middle and then darker on the edges I love it I love it when I first put that on I thought uh oh it's not gonna be wearable but I really think it is and the next one is child and this one just looks like maybe like a creamy beige not very pink not very peach and very 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 little scent like it's not it's just like nothing i like i didn't even think about it until just now i was thinking i probably need to tell them what the scent is like no perfume not really gourmand or anything like that just like almost like nothing something you wouldn't even notice okay so i'm going to do this one over here 
very silky. Okay, it looks like that one's peachier. Yeah, much peachier than like a light pink. Then this is more like a salmon color. Okay. I'm putting it on pretty full force just so we can get the true idea, but you don't have to. You can blot it on, layer it over. I still think it's beautiful. It's very light and you have to like this kind of look, but I do, and I know a lot of you do too. And then you can take any lip liner. What other ones do I have out here? I don't want to take anything too dark because that's just going to take it. I really think this one is just as good as any. I think you could wear this lip liner with all of them. That is so pretty. It's so pretty. And just think I haven't put any gloss on or anything. It's about time. I feel like all the companies, they come out with stuff, but they don't come out with very many nudes or light nudes. Maybe they don't call it nudes, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. I feel my lips getting angry. The next one is Fawn. And it looks like it's getting a little bit more color in it, maybe a little bit more brown. So let's put it right beside the last one, which I can't even remember what it was, but you probably do. Okay, now we're getting more into a little bit more of a wearable color for some of you. And oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay, this is the one so far. I mean, not that I don't like all of them and I'll wear all of them, but if I had to recommend one, I've got one more left, but this is it. Because that is, this is the one that's gonna be easiest to wear, I think. Gosh, they're just beautiful. I hope that you can see how like silky and they have the perfect amount of shine. Yay! I was hoping I would like these. I don't even want to take that off. That is so pretty. So here's the last one, wedding day. And if I had to guess, this is probably going to be your perfect wedding day nude lip. And I'm going to just kind of swatch it right across the top of my hand. Yes. So that's going to be comparable to the fawn, but with a little bit more of a rosiness to it. So... I love how you get the solid color. It doesn't leave a lot of streaks. And you know what I mean, with lipsticks like this, a lot of times they just, especially cheaper ones, they just don't give you that good solid color and they don't go all in your lip lines. Like you can see I have two of them. That is gorgeous. So two thumbs up. Like I said, I didn't get the dark ones, but the formula is good. They're not a powerful smell. It just smells like a little bit of a product, but not you know anything offensive at all. And I think the colors are gorgeous. I think the last things that I have to show you this week are going to be, I have a new bag. I went to Oliver this week. I went to go see Kelly and she told me, she sent me some pictures. She had gotten some new, Oh gosh, they're called C by Chloe. They're Chloe bags and they're still, they're still expensive. They're still nice bags, but it's not like a full on Chloe bag. They're at a little bit of a different price level. And last year I bought one before I went to Reward Style and I love it. It is, they are really good quality. And so she 
texted me the other day some pictures. I'll put the picture up here and told me that she had some new ones in. And so I went and looked and I ended up getting this necklace, which I love. It's like a, it's, it's like a coin or medallion. I'm not sure it's got two different sides. It, one side looks like a bird, I think, but I just liked it. I thought it was pretty and I liked the size of the chain and I just love that look. Like I love, even if I, I might even put like another charm on there with it or something. I'm just liking that look lately. And so I got this and then I got the jeans that I'm wearing and they are a new brand. And right now, let me, she was telling me all about these new jeans. It's a new line she's carrying. Let me look them up real quick and then we'll go into the rest of it. Here it is. It, the brand is called Boyish and they're not as expensive as a lot of those jeans that are over $200. Boyish is a sustainable women's denim line focused on quality, fit, and authentic washes. Boyish jeans will remind you of your favorite pair, but the modern details and laid back California aesthetic feel feel refreshingly new. The price point is unbelievably friendly. Try not, buy, try not buying them in multiples. And it says 1% for the planet. So she was saying like how they wash them and all this kind of stuff is supposed to be really earth friendly and all this kind of stuff. So um, the ones I have on, as soon as I tried them on, I was like, oh, I just loved them. I knew that I was going to like these and wear these a lot. So I'll be right back and show you everything. So the bodysuit I have on is one you guys saw a while ago. I got it from H&M and I just haven't worn it and I thought it would look good with these and I could not decide on whether to wear a belt or not. And I, Brooke said I should, I should put on like my Gucci belt, but I just felt like I've got enough going on that I didn't, but I don't know. You can say down below. I don't know if I'll decide to put one on later, but see how these have plenty of room everywhere. Um, they're supposed to be high-waisted. Of course, my belly button is here because I'm so long-waisted. And um, they just have a good, good fit. And they have the like raw hem and the flare at the bottom. So they're still a little bit like straight with a little bit of a flare and it's a little bit cropped if your legs are longer than mine it'll be more cropped than mine but i like the way these look because to me jeans like this look good with heels and they look good with boots so that is what made me love them and they're just really really soft and they are button fly and plus they're black i didn't really have any black ones that i loved at the moment so here they are and like they're pretty flattering on the back too. Here is the bag and it is beautiful. And it has the strap that you, if you're somebody that needs to carry it, like I don't know if you'd carry this crossbody or not, but if you needed to carry it on your shoulder or you could take it off, I've done both, but it has really pretty hardware. I love the gold hardware. And these pockets are actually functional. So you can put like your phone or whatever if you wanted to in here. But you know, Chloe is kind of known for like this kind of thing, their handles and their little extra hardware and stuff like that. And I just loved the color because it's kind of like a pinky nude and just a really good size. She does have some smaller ones that I'm sure she will have on her website. And the code that I always give you guys, which is Lisa15, you get 15% off of everything on the website. So, and then inside it's canvas and it has a pocket like right on the side. So I thought it was a very good bag and I feel like it's kind of travel friendly and I feel like it goes with everything. I think that's it. I put on my Sheila Fajal. These are a little bit smaller than the favorite hoops. I love how it has like the wire. They're just a little different. I end up just being drawn to these when I open my drawer and pick them out. And my regular necklace I'd never take off. And oh, my Hear Me Roar ring. No fragrance yet. I'll probably put on the uh, cashmere, the philosophy one. That one's just a good everyday, just put it on. And my nail polish is still OPI Cajun Shrimp. I had a 
manicure done and I told her I wanted them cut short so she did and that just makes it last so much longer the ends don't get chipped off so I looked at them last night and I was like I'm not taking that off so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you saw something that you liked I was pretty excited I'm really happy with the lawless lipsticks I think that she did a great job I need to I need to get her palette back out and her foundation I've got her powders and I don't think, what else has she come out with? I'll have to look and then we'll do maybe an all clean tutorial. I'll get a few other things to go in there too. So enjoy your weekend. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and I will see you maybe tomorrow. Definitely, I'll probably do another one this weekend because I have some more lip stuff I want to show you. See you then, bye-bye.